Hey guys, Army Helmet here, and today I will be showing you how to make a custom texture pack slash resource pack for any update. First, what you're going to have to do is download the default resource pack, which there will be a link in the description, and then you just need an editing program such so as paint, paint.net, or just anything else you have that will work. So you'll need to go into your resource pack. Well, first you can just name it to um, test or whatever you want it to be called. And then you can open that up. You can edit like pretty much anything inside. So you can edit the name, everything to te textures, text, sound, records. So all the no, all the sounds and textures for any entity, item, or block. You can edit the font, icons, and pretty much anything. Here, so yeah, so go to textures to show you. We'll go to block and we will edit the beacon. As you can see, when we open it up, it is just the original beacon here. So to edit the block, you're going to have to, you cannot edit it from a zip file. So you're going to have to slide it onto your desktop. And here it is. So I'm going to open with paint.net and there we go. So we can just zoom in and just take it's gonna edit it effects and it's going to invert color and there I'm just gonna say it's done. So I'm going to have the beacon look like this instead of blue. So now we're going to delete the original thing from here and then bring your edited one into it and then just delete your copy or just save it just in case it doesn't work. So then what you're going to want to do is, well if you're done editing, you can just close this and you're going to want to go to percent app data percent go into minecraft resource pack and this is another resource pack that i made and then you're going to just put in your resource pack into here close it and go into your minecraft resource pack i'm going to open test and Just going to create a new world. Um, test. Just gonna go create it and create a new world. What you can also do is like take pictures or anything. If you make part like pixels bigger and you zoom out, you can actually have more like really realistic images for your textures. So if you want comment in the description I'll have a video on how to do that and so yeah now if we go to beacon you can see what okay well beacon you can see it is edited it is not blue it is just red so yeah so if you want more on how to edit text packs in more detail and how to make it like look nicer just like, subscribe, and comment in the description.